Hello and assalamu alaikum guys. We have learned about macro recorder and now we need to learn about relative reference. We have two types of references. Basically, we have absolute reference and we have relative reference. Absolute reference means if I want, if I say record a macro and go in, let's say record in macro 1 and I say go to C and then say O. Okay. okay. Let us stop recording macro and go in here. Okay, it says go to range C1 first. Okay, I'm on A1, go to C1. And in the C1, type LE and then C2 dot select. Okay, no problem with that. Let us record another macro and do the same thing, but we are gonna use a relative reference. Okay, record macro 2. Let me be on A1, record macro 2, click OK, and let's use relative reference. Now I go to C1, I type Ali, then go down. Okay, now let us stop recording this and let us see what is happening. Basically, macro 1 was to select this and macro 2 did what? It actually went from here, active cell, two steps to the right. So two steps to the right, it said I'm going two columns towards the right from range A1. From A1, I'm going two columns towards right. So basically, it said I'm on A1, I want to go two columns right. And I want to put this value and I want to go one row down. So now, as you can see, one row down, two columns towards right, one row down. This is basically what relative reference means. I cannot just see another example. Let us see, I have uh, Ali in here. I want to copy this on A1. How does it work? I'm gonna record a macro. I click on here, copy, and go in here and paste. No problem? Yes, no problem. Okay, now this is our this is our macro three. Let us delete this. Okay, but this time we are gonna say use relative reference and we're gonna say copy and then go in here and say paste and then stop recording. So what is the difference? Let us see. I'm going to go to 3, so we are on 3, we say select G7, that would be this, okay, then copy the selection, can go to A1, select it and paste it. What here, we said copy, basically same thing, and we say active cell dot offset, offset means go 6 rows up and 6 columns back, so it's 6 rows up, 6 columns back. Right guys, I hope you understand. I'll see you in the next drill and bye.